Okay, here's a little uh, addendum to my uh, long run uh, Bedini lid motor project. Um, I decided to try something this morning that was kind of interesting. I, I, I'm trying this with no battery. It's just a capacitor. And um, this is the panel that the project was uh, formulated on. It's about a 2 watt. See the size of it? It's very small panel that ran the motor for the week and um, um, what I wanted to see was uh, if you increase the size of the panel what it would do to the motor and uh, would it really make a substantial difference and the answer is oh yeah it sure does bigger is better <laughs> size matters and this is the big panel right here that came off my boat that broke last year it got me started on this whole project and I band-aided it back together just to try something here but this is running inside the house there's no window here <laughs> the sun is uh, way over there this is just getting light out of the window and it's run the motor and using this little uh, adjustable uh, step uh, voltage regulator step down adjustable regulator it's holding the voltage low and running this uh, Bedini motor with ambient room light. There's no sunlight on this. This is just ambient room light that's in the room right here. I don't have a light on this or anything. This is just what the, the light inside the room is, is here. And you can see uh, the little voltage regulator holding the voltage low, which lets the energy store up in that capacitor enough to run this motor on ambient light. So if you if anyone's out there building one of these solar powered Bedinis, uh, size does matter. If you, if you get a big enough panel uh, for this thing, um, it opens up a whole lot of potentials. Because remember, you've got high voltage spikes coming off this thing that can be put into capacitors, batteries, whatever. If you can keep this thing running, and that's the whole thing is the charging and collapsing of that coil right there produces these high energy spikes that are usable and um, uh, really neat stuff but anyway that's the latest project uh, is uh, size matters <laughs> when you get a big enough solar panel on this thing you don't need a whole lot of light to make this thing work and once you acquire the the power source um, that's the end of your expenditure uh, the rest just comes from the sun and that's free energy right there and like I say, this is inside the house ambient lighting.